okay to create this particular flyer this is what we need to do the first thing determine your background size by going to the three line dot at the right hand side here click on image size and you set your size to custom in this tutorial i'm going to teach you another thing if you set your size to be a custom remember look at the picture at the top you don't need to save with ultra at the end of the product at the end of the result let us assume we save our work with 120 by 120 which is custom size it's a square size why the height and the width are the same then we got this particular result after that another thing we need to do send the back set the background color so i'm going to combine two color together the deep one and the light one then using that one will give me uh, uh it's called a gradient when you are combining two color together so i'm going to select this tap on the plus sign you can adjust depends on your choice for instance if i want to adjust this a node this color node i have to tap on the color then I will adjust it to my own best of what, best of taste or desire. Then after this has been done, I can tap on the second one, which I want it to be lighter. So I make it lighter by dragging it all this keynote to make it work, work per per perfectly. So once that has been done, then the rest are so simple. The next thing I need to do is to confirm the color selection. After confirming that, then the next thing I need to do, what am I making an advert on? I'm making an advert on the wristwatch. So I have to go to my gallery, importing that particular wristwatch. Okay. So let's say, sorry, importing the, the wristwatch. Okay. Then you are going to use your relative size to position it properly. Okay. This is cool. Then once that has been done, you endeavor to make sure that you lock, you lock the whole stuff. Now, heading back to the gallery, I need a shadow, okay? I need shadow for this. So I have to move to my gallery. <clears throat> I'm getting to my gallery, looking for the shadow will be perfect. I know the folder where I save it. So I will scroll down, looking for the shadow, drop down shadow. That will make this root watch look real and look like it's sitting on the ground okay so now send it to the back by open the layer here drag it let it go to the back then you can adjust it manually to make it look real make sure you lock it so that your hand will not be touching perfect after you're able to do that then the next thing to do go into the right up to uh, communicate what your desire is Take it for instance, we have a modern, so let's say we have a modern in copy to later, then we'll go into the font area. So I'm decided to use Mortizera font at this juncture, so to make it a look more real. So I will, I will select Mortizera board, the board one, okay, or well, that's the board, not extra board. So I will increase the size just as perfect as this a little bit when after that has been done you can move this one down a little bit position it here then increasing the size just a bit so make it to be something like 75 so when you're able to do that okay or you make it to be 70 or 65 67 okay <clears throat> excuse so copy when you copy then you type modern watch modern watch okay modern watch so we can add into gallery having the font change we are using Montezera as well but the kind of Montezera font we are using won't be as deep as uh, the previous one so we are selecting the Montezera that is not really that is not bold okay very good so everything seems to be cool now as you can see then so let's say we want to even say let's say modern watches match watches so which means we need to reduce the size to that so reducing the size to that make sure that it properly align okay so you properly align it to the left why the the right will be the same with, with the left 
to make it a uniform okay just to make sure you did the right thing at that level so now what we need to do is to go to the shape as i just uh, select the shape so when you select the shape don't let it be too long just position at the middle drag and crop it to to make it more local so after that position it under this so bring it down a bit that will be perfect not close as that now cool what we need to do next is to i'm selecting this or if i want it to be more bolder than that one i will reselect so we have a sales okay sorry so we have a sales so when we have a sales click ok then we are going to increase the size anyway but not as much so you can turn on your grid tap here and then you move it as a kind of a demarcation after that tap the empty area it will be there now position this so okay this is cool the next thing you can do reduce the size a bit not as much as that a bit 122 so when you're able to do that the next thing i need to do is to try whether i can board it if i can't instead of me going back stressing myself looking for border one i will decide that to just add a five stroke adding the five stroke got to the color just change the color of that automatically once you're able to do that go to the shape you have to cross crop this particular shape make sure you position it underneath and don't let it see the line okay you don't need to turn the mouth to be round so it's cool like this then the next thing you need to do after you you succeeded in placing the crap shape under this then you are going to what you are going to automatically assign a color so i'm signing this particular color but i want it to be the lighter one so uh, instead of me be, uh, ransacking my brain for this i have to place this on top of this to give me one color i'm still working under what i'm still working under the gradient okay i mean working on with the gradient but uh i with uh, a part a, a kind of a tricks to make it position well so in order to make that one obvious go to the shadow apply a shadow your blur radius should be reduced a little bit your set y should be something like five y of set x to be two tap on the plus sign then you reduce this one towards the end so that the shadow will not be too much then after that click ok and let's see and as you can see it really form the basis of what we want to we want it to do so when you're able to do that then the next thing we need to do copy any of this right up so that you will not be reselecting the shape i mean the font so now just type new arrival depends on your information you can consign customize this design with your info it will look great depends on what you want to pull so after that increase the size to make it fit in like the owner of the house okay make it fit in arrivals so when you're able to do that then the next thing you need you need to do is to position very well so when you position it very well it will look awesome perfect perfect so then you have to make your eye sharp so that the left length and the uh, the right left and the right are the same in term of position so now what we need to do uh we can copy this the watches so why we put in all our right up now so we have sorry branded so we can see we have a branded watches okay branded watches for sale for sale at a discount at a discount price okay with I with high quality high quality and durab high quality and durability. So we'll put that one there. High quality and durability. So now once we select the kind of a phone we want to use, so we can automatically position this under this. So it's own a sealed and it's own uh 
go beyond this okay perfect so now you can increase the size you just increase so don't let it just seal the style to increase the size increase a bit okay perfect so now that we are able to still see sales so, so i so let's increase the size bit bit shows so let's see 24 okay let's delete this so i want it to be balanced so when we have the sales the high should go down okay that's what i want to do so um, the high quality so possible remove this So I'm trying to sort to make the whole work simple. Okay. Let's see sales. So come down. So we have the sales. Then we have the high. So what, what I'm going to do now is to just uh, manipulate this test to make it a fitting. So I'm selecting uh, by adjusting them. So cut out this. Just cut out. Okay, still coming back to that. So after that has been done, then the next thing we can do, go into the shape, have your opacity to be zero, your stroke should be something like four, just to make it obvious anyway. So after that, you can change what you can change the color. Okay, just change the color. So, okay, so color of the stroke should be white. Your screen and change the color. Have a position at the bottom here. Will make it a look awesome remember to follow in the line so when you bring it down a bit a bit like this why to be around this particular area so we just have a shop now under that okay perfect so we can have this so i'm going to copy just copy cut this after cutting it, okay. So, what I'm trying to do is to make the whole text independent. So, let's say we have something like 24 for that. So, I'm going to copy, edit, and replace with what I've copied so far. So, and if branded, so we can have this type here. Okay, so let's say we have this. Then we just have at, uh, for sale at a discount, at a discount price with, with I. So where we have that one, we need to pause and they uh, create a space for it to fit in here to make it uh, uniform 
So this is where we have our mistake. So just reduce this one. Shouldn't exceed the line. Okay, very good. Very good. So after that has been done, then we can have copy. Then we'll just say we have a T or, or with high quality. So let's say quality. Quality and durability. Okay, perfect. So now you can position that around here. Okay, good. So you can come down a bit. Why go out a bit? Okay, good. So when you look at it now, you can tell. And you can see categorically that uh, it really works. So now you can just select the three and you bring it down. Move it to the left a bit. Okay, perfect. And then you can bring it down a bit as well. So good. After that, we can copy any of this where we just say shop now. Okay, perfect. So reducing the size a bit. After reducing the size, drag and drop it here. When it gets here, you can make it fitting properly by increasing the size a bit. But make sure you use your hand to make uh, uh, to make it uh, presentable so after that has been done go to the shape just turn your radius to 100 like that and you crop this particular shape after you're able to do that the next thing to do is to just uh, change the color when you change the color go to the stroke and uh, you apply a stroke something like four change the color to white drag it and you make sure that uh, you position it around there so when you, once you are able to do that, let it just sit out. Then you can copy. After copy, go back to the color. Change the color, sorry. So when you copy, what you need to do is to go to the edit of that shape. Then you change the color. So when you change the color, the next thing you need to do is to drag that and bring it around here. So when you bring that around here, you can tap on the color and you change it. Make it to be one as well. So once you are able to do that, the rest is simple. Okay, perfect. Now something is mixing. So where do we have this? So we need to drag that, drag it that back. So just to position it here. Okay, after that, lock everything back. Now we have this uh, particular stuff. So take it for instance, the bottom one is just, it's not okay, it needs to be adjusted so we can increase the size a bit. Now that the whole stuff is well cooled, you can go back to the shape, just bring something like this to create a kind of a pattern or uh, 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 attraction. So a bit, you can use your hand to quickly drag, drop and uh, reduce the size here. Just position it with what with care decision. So not that big and not that small. But you have an impact on the beauty of the design. Okay. On the beauty of the design. Okay, good. Okay, this is perfect. So once this is done, <clears throat> the rest thing is to do now is to create a kind of a, um, so let's create something like um, the logo. The logo should be created. So once we are creating a logo, it should be like this. Why we are going to put in the logo there? Okay, perfect. So now we have this there. Then the next thing we need to do to achieve that, we are going to go to text area. Then after the text area, so let me just say, we type letter A. If you don't know about logo, how to create any letter A, go to the font. So when you get to the font, just type, um, let's say, what, what, which is life. So that is a, there is a font name called what best font, what, what best font. So you can select any one of your choice. So when you select it, the beauty about that is any alphabet you type we give you a logo so when i tablet a b or let me say what a b c t 
so it will give me different logo so you can see it so i can pick the third one which is in yours so just for educational purpose only okay so now that i have that i will just go to where i have my own color then give a color give a damn color for it so after that just find the space to position it here so that will serve as a uh, as a logo for us and the rest will be simple so now we are cool with that I'm cool with that then the next thing we need to do after that is to go to uh, edit just type 50 uh, that is Kura. so type 50 so when you type a 50 then you position it well increase the size a bit okay adjust then copy so let's have percent sorry 50 percent so you can drag that to come here reduce the size okay so bring that one to the bottom could be the best right if you can't should be the best so it's not okay so we can just uh have our percent to be here so when we have our percent we can have the whole stuff being reduced have this one be deleted then you reposition this wall here now we increase the size to make it fitting now reposition very well by using a relative position arrow just as this so almost there now this is presented now to put a finishing touch you can go in back to your gallery i have all this stuff being saved some around somewhere and now that will be <clears throat> achieve so i have some liberal package and some other designs which i can just put to make this one look awesome so let's take for instance do i have something to do with that so i think i have many and all these things can work for me so in order to do that i have to crop what i just selected so take it for instance just crop this and you rotate so when you rotate it it will give you this nice tall feel so when you rotate that you can still rotate again since i'm using this particular angle but in order to do that reduce it don't let it be too big and too more obvious but you can create a kind of a stuff so after you do that then the next thing you still need to do i need to go back to go and import uh, bring something from my gallery so in order to do that too just go to your gallery scroll where you have it been saved you can check all these elements at the description of this uh uh at the description uh, will be attached as a file to this particular video so i have many of it but just uh very very far to check so but we'll, we'll still lay hands on them okay so let me check in So, um, so I'm checking okay I have them here plenty as I said and there are some that is even inside stuff so take it for instance like this one I've seen it so you can position reduce the size and I have this one position around here could be the best Just position in there. Have the color being changed. Okay. Change the color. Then we can still have more anyway. So you can go back to this particular sticker of this phone. So when you go in, you can scroll down. Check your own desire here. So it could be the perfect. So take it for instance. This is one. So instead of me, I can even change this one to be around here. 
why I will make this one to be here a little bit. Then have the color being changed to whatever I want. And then we don't need to stress ourselves. We can just uh, come here, copy this. So when you copy, position that here. So when you position that is cool. Then the next thing we can still do to make everything awesome, you can go back to this shape. Your opacity should be zero. Then you have your stroke to be three. So when you're able to do that, you can use this to form a pattern as well by just change the color here. Reduce the stroke to something like three. Then you click OK. So now you can reposition this all around by reducing the pitch. So let's say two. Then reduce the size. So in reducing the size, just add this. Okay, perfect. So now position this anywhere you want. Just don't let it be too much. So we can drag this one as well. Drag it well. You can drag and position it around there. So after that, you can copy. When you copy, drag as well. Have a perfect place to position it here. Boom, we are done. So when you look at it, this is just uh, a way you can create a beautiful business ad flyer for Instagram or any kind of a social media. With these tips, I believe you can come up with any kind of amazing flyer like this to showcase your brand, whether you're a designer, whether you are a content creator or you are a business owner i believe this tips is helpful thanks for watching god bless you so you can have your work where i'm going which another trick is go to the save save your work as an images so when you get here now remember we select a custom size when we want to save just need to change this to png leave it in custom size because if you choose an ultra you choose an ultra here you see that one will change the what the method i mean the, the configure you have made before if you don't select any configuration when you want to save when you want to make your design you can ignite and save as ultra but as long as you select a particular size when you want to save if you ch change it from this dark custom to another size it will make your design to be blurry and that's why you look at it upon you design on bcl app your work will still be blurry and you become start thinking what is happening so that is one of the uh, 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 silly mistake that we normally make thank for watching have your well being safe god bless you